Hey there, I'm Tesla and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at setting up some basic AI. So we're going to look at target points, nav meshes, and how to set up some simple move to nodes within Blueprint. Then we'll finish off by making a character chase our player. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's jump right in. Okay, so in the third person template, I'm going to use this character as our AI character because he's already got some simple animation set up with him. So what I'm going to do is create a copy of him. So I'm going to right click, create copy, and I'm just going to name him Basic AI. Okay, then I'm going to open up him up and come to the graph, and I'm just going to delete all of this because we don't need it. So now we can actually just place him around in the world. Have a, we have a problem, we have that camera and everything set up with him. So what we're going to do is come into the components tab of him, and I'm going to delete the camera boom and the camera and I think that's what we need to delete so we're just gonna drag him out again and we can move him up okay so I'm just gonna put him there so to make him simply move somewhere we're gonna come into the level blueprint and we are going to uh, ignore, ignore that, I just haven't updated my um, project yet so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna add a reference to him and I'm going to get a right click again and type in simple move to location. So with our basic AI, we're going to drag them out and type in get controller. And now we can connect the controller up to the simple move to location. So we have to have a, a goal and this is a destination. So we're going to come to the basic tab, scroll down and get a target point so we can move this anywhere we want in our world so I'm just going to put it here and you know what I'm going to get another one and put it here so I'm going to open up the level blueprint again and I'm going to right click add reference to target point 3 I'm going to drag it out and I'm going to type in get location and we're going to get the actor location and we can connect that up to the goal so I'm going to just activate him to move by pressing F so when I press F he's going to move to that target point there but when I press G um, I want him to move to this other target point so we're going to re repeat those same things get the actor location and we're going to copy this move to location put it here connect the goal up get the controller connect it up and G to activate it execute it sorry so before we jump in the next thing we need to do is add a navigation mesh so to do that we're going to come to the volumes and we're going to scroll down to you find nav, nav mesh bounds volume so we can drag this in here and we can scale it so you might have to just move it like this to see it refreshed see you can see it's automatically updating and even bringing in <coughs> those points on the stairs here so it's automatically updating so I'm just going to scale it so those target points are in it again just move it to refresh it okay so now if I jump in and if I press G you can see he's simply moving to it but if I press F he's moving to the other target point and if I press G again he's moving to it so essentially we're setting up some waypoints for our AI okay so uh, I can actually change his movement speed again by coming to the defaults tab just type in max walk and let's just set this to 650 and now he's running to those points okay so we can even get this target point and move it up here so if he runs to that point and then I just press F now he's going to run up those stairs to that point 
So the navigation meshes are really clever and they can just figure out all the boundaries of the objects. So um, now we're going to make him chase the player. So to do this we're going to come into the level blueprint and let's just remove all this. We'll keep the basic AI. We'll get that control get get controller again, sorry. And we're going to right click and type in simple move to actor. And we'll connect the controller up to the controller and now we have our goal here. So we're going to just type in get player character and we're going to connect it up to the goal. So the goal of the move to actor is basically us. And now we're going to just press, let's say press F to execute it. Okay, so we press F, he's running to us. No matter where I run to, he's just following me. And if we come up the stairs, he'll follow up, and if we jump off, he'll jump off too. Okay guys, well this has just been a really quick tutorial looking at how to set up some basic AI and looking at that nav mesh which we can update. Actually one last thing, I can just show you we can still just move this nav mesh and we can even take it down. Hang on, is that the nav mesh? No, that's the target point, sorry, where's the nav mesh? There we go. So yeah, we can take it down and update so he can't so the target points, he wouldn't be able to run up those stairs because the target points will be out the boundaries. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for checking it out. And make sure you stay subscribed for my future tutorials. Cheers guys.